Hi everyone, my name is Eric. I am a former competitive figure skater and this is my figure skating reaction series. For those of you who don't know me, I am a five-time U.S. National Championships competitor through the senior level. I trained for about 15 years in the Chicagoland area with top coaches, including most recently Olympic coach Denise Myers. So long story short, I know my stuff. Let's get started. Hi everyone, just want to do a quick video today recapping my thoughts on the Olympic team event uh, for the 2022 Beijing Olympics, um, focusing on the men's and women's, both short and free skate programs. Guys, today's been a really busy day and I feel like things are spiraling. The men's event is about to happen. I have not watched it yet, um, but by the time this video is up, I probably love watch it. But anyways, I'm trying to make this video before that, start a new job and everything. Anyways, so um, I might not even like edit this video as I usually do. I might just kind of ramble and then, you know what, just in case some people want to know my thoughts on the team event, Thought I'd do that before um, the Olympic individual events start. And apologies for looking over here sometimes uh, to see my notes. Um, but okay, let's get into it. Men's. So short program, Nathan Chen looked obviously extremely strong. Um, no doubt he looked, to me, he looked really focused. Like he was really fighting for his life out there. I don't know. I'm just seeing what I, or saying what I saw. Um, that I've really ever seen from it, maybe not ever, but like that I remember seeing from him. Like I just haven't seen like I've like that much fight and that much focus and concentration from him. So that's just what I, I thought. Uh, so obviously, congrats to him. It really feels like he was just there to get the job done. Um, like we all know, the pressure is obviously enormous on him from the last Olympics to being the favorite in this Olympics to all the Jurassic Parks and other commercials uh, he's in right now. So uh, props to Nathan. As of now, I just do not see anyone beating him in the individual event. With how hardcore he looks, I feel like even, for example, if he misses like a jump in the short program or something, uh, he, just, he won't give up and he won't be out of the picture. Um, it would be funny if I post this video after the short program and something drastically different happens. But anyways, this is just my thoughts as of right now before I've watched any of that. One small thing, doesn't matter that much, but at first I feel like he looked a little different. I think it might have been the the camera or the screen or something. He looked a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit off or like, I don't know. I think, again, I think it's probably the camera and not, uh, not him actually. Uh, I don't know. People were looking kind of washed out or something. I just noticed it, especially with him. He doesn't, he didn't look exactly like he normally did. I don't know. Probably doesn't mean anything. Just pointed out something I saw. Uh, maybe it's Peacock. I don't know. Okay. Shoma Uno. Show program. Beautiful. Oh my God. Guys, I kind of forgot how amazing Shoma was. Obviously he's amazing. Um, but I think because he's been so inconsistent uh, over like past couple seasons-ish, or I don't know about so inconsistent, but inconsistent enough where he was falling semi like regularly. And like, I don't know, I just feel like for me, I get a little bit um, discouraged from watching skaters when they fall so much. That sounds so bad. Like, I don't know, but just, it, you know, it's like it's put, it makes it hard to put your trust in them and, and everything. So anyways, I like feel like I haven't like really like sat down and watched this full program and like really pay attention in like a, in a while. And so was amazing, um, beautiful. Honestly, the music's kind of boring. It's nice to be a little classical. Doesn't scream Olympic moment necessarily to me, um, even though I do love classical music, don't get me wrong. Um, even though it's just a short program, but anyways, nonetheless, magnific magnificent. Um, let's see, talk about his consistency. He looked really, really focused. Um, which I guess this is obvious because everyone should look focused. I mean, not everyone does look extremely focused, I will say, but he did look really, really focused. Again, more than I feel like I've, I've been seeing. Maybe I'm reading too much into facial expressions, but um, obviously it's really hard to know without the like on the ground insight, but that's just kind of what I can see as a viewer. Um, it was really clear to me that Nathan and Shoma knew exactly what they're doing. They've been there before. Um, they were there to crush it. Like many others just looked nervous or off or like maybe their mind was slightly thinking about something else or thinking about how big the moment was instead of concentrating on the content like 
I don't know, again, just speculation, um, but like someone like a Roman Zadowski, both on short and long, um, he's an amazing skater, but uh, not the best outings. Um, I just felt like really saw, like, saw the difference between like how he kind of looked, not just the actual kind of jumping and the misses, but kind of body language, facial expressions, all that um, to me versus like a Nathan and a Shoma who were just so laser focused. So anyways, um, it's makes me really think that Shoma's going to crush it in the individual event and be a medal contender, honestly. But it's hard to say. So much hard, really hard competition in the men's uh, event and the women's event um, this year. Free skate of the men's. Um, Boyong Jin, that first quad lutz, guys, that is about as good as it gets. Um, everyone go rewatch that. Boyong Jin, quad lutz, thank you for blessing us uh, with that. Um, amazing. Mark, um, and I'm, hopefully I don't mess up his name too much, Kondrat of Russia really impressed me in both the short and the long um but uh, he, yeah just such a fighter really good nice passion in the program love the Jesus Christ superstar music um he looks like a majestic elf out there with like the pants and the color and everything I don't know um just got really really good vibes from him glad that it like, seems like he's like blowing up a little bit um even in non-skating worlds and all that um Re just really impressive and he he's such a fighter like he lands that quad toe and he's like i'm not gonna fall i'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> like this you can't see it on the screen anyways um he was really great so um i honestly did have not followed him too much before um but i definitely want to start following him more now really impressed um yes okay yuma oh my gosh this was just absolutely beautiful i was like Wow, Shoma Uno, like Japanese guy, like really impressed me more than I I thought he he would. Yuma as well, like obviously I knew he, you know both of them they're capable of doing that, um, and Yuma's capable of doing that. But when they really pull it out, I like I feel like after every like jumping pass, I was like, wow, like so nice. Um, the knee bend reminds me a little bit of like Nobunari Oda from back in the day, who had the most amazing knee bend. Random side comment, but yes, great knee bend. Huge, confident jumps, um, really just killing it. Uh, Yuma is so good. Um, some of these are just like a uh, little bit of, um, what are they called? Uh, stream of consciousness thoughts I've wrote about Yuma. He has very Japanese looking jumps in a really good way. Hopefully that doesn't sound weird, but like if you've watched skating long enough, you know, again, no Nari Oda comparison and the knee bend, the, um, the I don't know, the beautiful quality in that way. I don't know. felt like it's just very uh, classic and new at the same time, if that makes sense. He looks really humble, so impressive, really a highlight, uh, really a highlight for me. Um, Vincent Cho. Every time I watch him, I hold my breath <laughs> for the jumps, which just, I, I will, every time I watch him since he started doing quads. When he competed against me back in the day, doing doubles and then like triples and whatnot, would never hold my breath. He could not fall. He literally could not fall. Um, but when you had quads in the picture for everyone, um, but definitely for him, it was noticeable since he was just impeccable before. Quads are so hard. Um, anyways, I just hold my breath a little bit. He made a great comeback, really. Um, even though he popped the flip and then he, he still really delivered overall and did much cleaner jumps than at Nationals, which I know I had a whole video on, was like, he cheated every jump. like. Cheated, by the way, under-rotated, not cheating competition. Um, but re yeah, really made a good comeback. Really sad about the announcement that he got uh, COVID-19 and cannot compete in the individual event. That's, that's that, uh, is what it is. All right, moving on to the women. Uh, again, team event. Okay, random side note, very interesting. Camilla and also Karen Chen um, uh, was chosen to do both the short and the long in the team event. Um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting. Just interesting. Uh, hope timing and stamina will work out for for all the skaters who did both the events. I think Madeline Skizis also did as well. Um, but yeah, so that's interesting that Camilla was chosen for that. Okay, women's short program. Anastasia Gumanova of Georgia, who I didn't really follow much before. Um, guys, I need to follow like all skaters. I, I, I haven't fought, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm only starting to follow it more intensely recently. Anyways, of uh, Georgia, short program, um, really stood out to me. 
beautiful jumps, long lines, really smooth. I think someone like Anastasia Guanova is someone who like makes me think more about that this whole thing of like the top skaters, what people view as the top skaters, or even the top jumpers, they get this push of GOE and PCS and blah blah blah. Like like for example, a Camilla is gonna win anyways, most likely with the content or a lot of the Russian women. But just like the extra push of like extra high, extra high GOE, extra high whatever. Like I thought she had really nice jumps and then she gets like plus ones, plus twos, whatever. Whereas maybe the same kind of nice, um, not necessarily super high whatever jump, a triple jump, let's say from a Camilla or from a whoever else will get like a plus five. And I don't know. And like also the PCS. Um, yeah. So when I see someone like her, I'm just like, oh, like she could have been higher in the short program, but um, she wasn't. But yeah, really beautiful skater, I thought. Wakaba Higuchi, oh my gosh, that um, triple flip was amazing. I guess maybe it was under review. I don't know. I did not slow-mo it, but anyways, it looked really great. Just generally big jumps, um, just beautiful, so impressive, as, as we all know, even if it's not my favorite cover slash music choice. Um, Karen Chen uh, surprised me the, the 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 loop fall. I feel like she was really really on, um, but she came back in the long anyways. But this is just the short notes. Camilla, wow. Um, I've heard no. I feel bad to say that I like had doubted. I I had ever doubted her axle technique. Um, not that again. I think I said this in another video. Not that it's you know absolutely perfect or anything. Um, but I I don't know. I just was like like when I first saw her doing it right on Instagram and stuff. I was like. Is that going to be able to, you know, be sus not only sustainable, but just like consistent throughout even like the season and stuff. And boy, is she doing it. Um, here we are. She's so impressive, unfazed under this Olympic pressure. She looks like she's having a great time. Um, she knows she's the best now, I feel like. Um, also, a Terry side note, looked a little bit tired or like nervous, which makes sense. Actually, it's Olympics, you know, all that. Um, but just, I don't know. Notice that, small little comment. Women's free skate. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for Beverly Zhu. Oh, or sorry, uh, Yi, uh, Yi Zhu. Oh my god, I'm Chinese and I, I actually don't know what the tones are on that, so uh, can't pronounce it. Um, feel bad for her, actually, not just, I mean, f from just like seeing her um, in terms of things just didn't go well in both the short and long program, um, and she was crying and all of that, and I was like a little bit like, even in the long, I was like, you didn't do like so, so like you like I don't know, so 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 bad. Like, don't cry. But then, like, I mean, realizing you know it's her home to, uh, home games in terms of she's uh, you know representing China and all of that. Um, but the um, intense bullying I feel like she's gotten oh, I'm my um, is just not not right. Like on both Chinese and American media. Anyways, I feel like she's gotten a lot of that. Not fair. Um, hope it doesn't happen again. Or again, doesn't happen more. I don't know. Hope she's okay and all that. Um, okay, Karen Chen. Um, really happy for her. Oh my gosh, guys. Butterfly lovers. Olympic moment for me. Um, amazing piece of music. She's Chinese. She's Chinese-American. She skates beautifully. One of the best PCS. Arguably, maybe even the best PCS skater in the Olympics right now. Anyways, great moment. Um, sure, maybe some under rotation. I honestly did not even look at the score sheet. She, I feel like she would have probably gone that same place anyways. But anyways, overall program was really strong. Happy for her. Great tears in the end. Like, that was great. Madeline Skeezes of Canada. Huge jumps. Um, I, I'm not going to go into her that much right now. But like, anyways, just amazing spring. I really love uh, her jumps. And she, really great. Really impressive. Kaori. So, so good, so consistent, beautiful speed and length on the jumps. Uh, guys, Japan and the women's and men's really just pulled throughout this team event, wow. Um, she doesn't even need that uh, second, oh wait, oops, that wasn't even, that was wrong person. I was like, what? Anyways, just really impressive. I love her skating. Um, and my friend was also saying like, music has really grown on both of us. Um, really great honestly hope she makes a run for the the podium individual camilla impresses always she doesn't need that second quad to loop i almost think it's better if she um i almost think that's better that she didn't land that um oops ah, don't call me um 
that so that she leaves some room um, to peek in the individual. I don't know. Um, there's not that much to talk about, I feel like, with her. She's great. Oh, she looked really upset in the end, and I was sad about that. I was like, do you not know that even if you fall on a guato, you're obviously going to win still? Like, not even a question. Um, I mean, if she did work, you know, if it was the individual, like, maybe. But, like, I don't know, she looks so upset. It's obvious that she still won. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't realize that. Anyway, I, I don't know what she was crying about, but anyway, that was just an observation. Congrats to her. Um, also, another one of those where it's like, should Camilla's PCS be almost 10 points higher than Karen 10 for those programs? I'm not too sure about that for like most of those uh, PCS components. Um, 10 points higher, like that's a lot. Um, I get it, Camilla should still win anyways quads, blah, 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 but it's not really about that. It's more about the fair judging. Um, just not, not quite sure about that. Um, so that came to mind when I briefly looked at the scoring sheet. Anyways, um, hope that was helpful. I know it was short and I was like looking this way. I, again, think I might not edit this video at all. If that's okay with you guys, I usually will. Um, just lazy and busy today. And I feel like it's like, you gotta do the team event um, right now because everything else is happening. Anyways, so thanks for watching, and yeah, let me know what you thought about the team event below, and also any more uh, Olympics content that you want to see. I have some ideas, but always helpful to know what you guys want to see, and all that. So, um, thanks! If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell. See you next time!